Hi guys, welcome to Tic Tacs and Dunlax, it's Shell, and today we're going to take our very first look at Letting Go by Anna Morte. Isn't she gorgeous? She's stunning. She was, today is Friday, the 26th of May already. Oh my god, guys. Wow. Now I am trying a microphone because my voice is very, very quiet, and sometimes my phone doesn't quite pick it up right, so let's just test it out if it doesn't work really well. I'll try and talk louder next time. All right. Ready? Ready? Let's go. Let's see what we can do. What do we got? What do we got? I got to tell you guys a story. I want to hear something funny? So, I'll tell you as I open this beauty up. I, in my craft room, have, like, mega stuff everywhere, right? Like all of us. I, as I try to tell my husband, we're not just crafters, we're collectors of cool stuff. Why can't I get that? Okay, let's get this. All right, there we go. There we go. My husband's in the other room, and I always get really shy when I'm filming when he's around. I don't know why, because, well, I don't know. Maybe he'll tease me or something. But, oh well. Oh. All right, key. There we go. Plastic. Okay, let's look at this beauty. So, as I was telling him, I have, like, tons of stuff in my craft room. So, I took one of my wedding rings off, and I put it in the ring box. And I threw it on one of my shelves, and left it. I moved my craft room all around, and I couldn't find the box. And my ring was inside. Thankfully, my husband didn't notice, and I found it. Okay, all right. So let's check this baby out. This is the Diamond Art Club. If you are new to Diamond Art Club, this is a square painting. And we know it's square because there is a beautiful blue, purpley blue square. Also a beautiful blue line across top. Now, if this was around, it would be a pink circle right here. And this would be pink. Beautiful box, isn't it? And we have our lovely picture right here. Some companies put them on the bottom. I actually like that they put one here. And if we look at our box, there is a QR code for 10% off your next purchase. Or you can, if you are new to Diamond Art Club, there are plenty of codes all over YouTube for first time purchasing. Um, you can also use Alicia, which is A-L-Y-S-A, -S I believe, 10, and that will take... $10 off your first purchase, and also known as a diamond stitcher, so if you'd like to do that, um, I will put that in that little comment section below. Before we go any further, make sure to hit the subscribe, hit thumbs up if you'd like. I usually do it right in the beginning of the video, so I don't forget. Um, they always help because they let me know that I'm not just talking to myself all the time. That's okay if I am, but it just helps me out. Um, and share the video, please. That's all I ask. Um, the back of our box has how it works and the kit contents. And um, a warning for choking hazard of both the bag. Yeah, we wrote it. And this side is just our lovely logo that we all love so much. So let's look inside. Because this is where the good stuff is. Alrighty. We have our toolkit. Yay. And we have our sticker. And we have our beautiful canvas. Let's move those right there. And let's take a peek at our sticker. Letting go by Anna Morte. It's a square. It's a 20 by 26. Wow. Or 50.8 by 66 centimeters. I prefer the centimeters just because I have a better understanding of centimeters as opposed to inches. Sometimes inches throw me off and then I'm in trouble. So, with the toolkit, because we have a square painting, we will have tweezers. If this was a round painting, there wouldn't be any tweezers. So, there's three variables in this toolkit. The color of our pen, the color of our washi tape, and the color of our trip reminder. Color, or shape, or design. Probably a better way to place that than... Oh, now you'll hear me struggle even more. So, we have the tweezers and they are branded tweezers which is very nice because that's just that added extra little touch that diamond art club gives us these are excessively sharp guys so please 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 keep the sheath on top 
And if you have small children, make sure these are put really high up because they can hurt small kids very, very easily. They hurt adults, so please be very careful. We have, what do we have today? We have a blue pen and squishy. Nice. Um, I guess that's a sapphire blue. And they're, pre they're pretty because they've got such pretty sparkles in them. And our, oof, I hate that sound. I don't want to do that. All right. We do have a bag of baggies. Now, what I do with my toolkits is I put them all back together because if I ever do want to de stash, I want to make sure the person getting it will receive the toolkit intact. Um, just for the simple fact is, if they're paying to buy this from me, then they should get the entire kit, not just part of it. Just my opinion, but that's all. But if the cover mind is really cute, I might borrow it. You get a bag of baggies. Usually not enough to kit up, but a pretty good amount. I think on average you get about 15 or so, so it's pretty good. I actually really do like those bags. The newer ones are quite nice. You get a seven placer and a four placer in the plastic. These are amazing. I love these. I know there's some metal ones that are thin like this that I do have to get still, but I do really like my seven placer. Now what I normally do is I just sort of with my hand, if there's any little burrs on them or something sharp, just take a nail file and go over it really lightly. And you can also, after you've used it for a bit, if you're a hard presser like me, you'll get little indentations along the way. You can also then just file it down, but with every kit, you do get two of them. They are four and a seven, so you can probably get through your kit with it. It's pretty easy. We get our Caddy of Wax. Oops. Now, if this was an older kit, you would just get the two plates of wax. But they have now upgraded to this little caddy that keeps the it air sealed, which is very nice because with this wax, it goes a long way and it will last a long time. It is not the same as your typical pink wax that you would get, say, with a budget-friendly kit. Now, there is a tiny little piece of plastic on there. You're going to want to pull that back before you try and stab it. Otherwise, you'll be spending a long time trying to get it through that, and you won't. So you get that. And when you're not using your wax, just make sure you put the lid on so that air doesn't get to it. You will get, oh, you're peeking. Don't peek. You'll get a tray. And if this is off when you get it, this is not garbage. It is a stopper for our trays. And it just pops right in there. I don't know which way they actually go, but I just put in whatever way it fits. This is a hard plastic tray. They're very nice. They work really well. Just be careful when you're shaking because they're not super deep that you might have a jumper or two that decides it doesn't want to play with its friends. So just be aware of that. But they are nice trays. They're great for if you are doing confetti. You can do multiples. And I have a dry erase marker and I just write down the number on here and then it'll wipe right off after I'm done my painting. Yeah, all right. So we have our... Oh, don't pee. I told you, don't peek. Our washi tape. Oh, look at this one. This one's citrusy. It's got grapefruits and limes. That's uh, kind of a funky lime, but that's cool. That's nice and summery. Yeah, I don't use washi tape a lot except for around my pasting area because I tend to wear a sweater a lot. I don't like the fluff getting into my... I have a dog, but she doesn't shed, so I don't have to worry about pet hair. But... I do eat a lot of Cheetos when I'm done painting, and I don't want cheese dust on the edge of my paintings, so I tend to use my washi tape for that, and for sectioning off the part that I want to work on. If you are new to diamond painting and you sort of don't know what sectioning off is, there are plenty of videos, like I said, um, the diamond sculpture being one, diamonds and washi, um, diamond painting with Laura, I could, you, um, crafting with Shay, you can call me butter. A lot of them have um, videos made with how to section off your canvas using washi tape. They are very, very informative. And also, if you're new to diamond painting, they all have a starter video on how to diamond paint. Excellent 
sources of information. So that's our washi. And our cute little cover minder. Oh my god, that is sweet. Now, cover minder has two magnets on it. No, it's not for your fridge. This does have something to do with diamond paint. This is just the fun stuff. Because we are collectors of stuff, aren't we? We're just crafting collectors. This is used for when you are doing your canvas, you place one magnet underneath your canvas and the other on top of the plastic. As you're working, oh, it's jumping around on me, you pull your plastic back and this will hold it in place so it doesn't keep hitting you as you're working. Just do not place this directly on your canvas without the plastic. Just be careful. Because some people, I think, put it directly on their canvas and you don't want to do that. So let's keep that all together because we're going to put that all back together. All right. And with Diamond Art Club, you get this lovely dust cover bag, which is excellent. So when you're storing your paintings, either before you do it or after you're finished, depending on how you store your finished paintings, it's a great thing to have. It keeps any gunk from getting on that painting. Um, it also has the branding. Do it make you sparkle? So these are very nice. I did see a video recently. A woman um, posted a video that she had stacked her paintings and somehow water had gone into her house and she had kept the plastic on her boxes, but it had creeped up the box, unfortunately. But thankfully, due to this plastic, it didn't affect the painting, just the box. So she was very, very lucky. So let's look inside. Now, hopefully, we haven't changed the desk yet. So hopefully by the end of the weekend, the mister will get it done so that we can show you paintings better. If you hear the mister, he's playing with the puppers. Don't mind him. Oh my God. Yeah, there's a lot of blues. Just be warned, there's a lot of blues in this one. But that's okay, because right now I'm doing Jody Berg's My Friendship, and there's a lot of green. A lot of green. All right, with Diamond Art Club, their canvas is, um, I believe it's called Tar Pitting, if I'm correct. If I'm not, please forgive me. But it is a very plush, plush canvas. Very soft, almost like diamond painting on a pillow. I know, we don't diamond paint the back, but it feels really nice, and it's very nice to work on. Like I said, it is self-flattening, so if I was to leave this laying out on the desk for probably about an hour, it would automatically straighten itself out. It is pour glue, so you can technically, oops, sorry about that, you can roll it back on itself. Now, we really don't need to because as I can just look at it, you can see it's, it's pretty darn flat already. But you can roll it back on itself if you want. I don't always do this. I'm not a huge advocate of rolling my paintings backwards, but, and we will, oh. Let me drop her down for you. I'm going to place her this way just so you can get a better view of her. And then I will turn her so that you can see her better. But isn't that stunning? See how flat it's laying? And unfortunately, I have so much crap on my desk. It's not going to lay flat no matter what I do. But it's already laying flat. In this corner over here, it's already flat. So as you can see, there is no creases. Anything you might see here, that is just the plastic. There is no creasing in this canvas whatsoever. This is a multi-placer's dream for here to here. There's going to be a lot of confetti right here. <laughs> so just be aware. You're going to have confetti heaven on both sides where the water is, but everything else is going to be color blocking. So color blocking is when you can use your multi-placer because you're going to have tons of areas that allow you to place more than one diamond at a time. Now, if you're like me, I tend to place one diamond at a time. I usually use the checkerboard method just so you get a smoother looking consistent picture instead of getting straight lines. Um, and also when you're multi-placing, you would like to try and use the checkerboard method as much as possible. And there are a lot of videos on how to multi-place out there. So, but I am practicing my multi-placing though it is slow. All right, we get a pamphlet and a thank you from our founder, Angie. She has done a wonderful job for us, I must say. Always consistent. Diamond Art Clubs are very consistent 
canvases. That's the one thing you know that if you're purchasing, the quality is there and the consistency is there. You might run into the odd small issue, but you're not going to have anything major. And the support um, at diamondartclub.com is absolutely fantastic for fixing any issues immediately. All right, we have what is included in our kit in three languages. We have tips and tricks for the project. We also have a thank you code down here. So that's two codes we've seen so far. If you are new to diamond painting, there is an instructional video that you can take a look at. But like I said, there are some on YouTube that are probably as good or better than this one here. This is one place I would instruct you to go, but that would be their VIP Facebook group. Um, after you've made your first purchase, you can enter the VIP Facebook group. Now just know if your name on Facebook is different than the name you purchase your painting with, just let Diamond Art Club know so that they can allocate whatever they have to allocate to allow the Facebook group to let you in. Otherwise, you don't get in. So you're going to want to make sure because you get a very good discount code with being in the VIP Facebook group, you won't ever pay full price for a painting, okay? Um, there are so many codes out there that please don't pay full price for it. You don't need to. And of course, we have our step-by-step -step instructions. And we have their app. They have it for iPhone and Android. And the first purchase you make through the app, you save 20%. I haven't done that yet. I'm going to have to get on that because I think I bought a few. And I need to take advantage of that one. Ah, oh, my servitory house just came back in stock. I may have to go over there and get it. Now, it is Friday afternoon, so that means drops happened. The sneak peeks on Instagram came out. I saw one that I really like, but I don't know. I'm kind of on, I'm on a no-buy round painting. So I can buy whatever I want. It just has to be squares. Because I'm new to squares and I have lots of rounds, so... Oh, I'm forcing myself. I'm forcing myself to get out of my comfort zone and sway myself. So this is our beautiful, beautiful picture. Look at that umbrella, isn't it? I just like so fantastic. And this for me, this this painting, I don't know, there's something about when I saw it, I let him go. Um it was like I had so much I wanted to let go. So when I saw it with the water and the lighthouse, like, because where I live, there are lighthouses, obviously, I live on an island, um, so, I don't know, there was just something about the whole painting that touched me, so it is called Letting Go, it is by NMRK, we have our start and our end date, we have that it is a square and it's a 20 by 26, and then we have a SKU number here, if you ever run out of diamonds or... You have a problem with your canvas they're going to ask you for this number right here so this is a complete sticker so what i do is i just cut along here this goes into my log book and this is for what i use for kitting up now with this painting we have 37 colors so anything under the color code 150 with diamond art club is an ab or an aurora borealis which is that diamond that has just that extra coating on it that makes it sparkle a little bit differently and a little bit more but they're all pretty sparkly so it's sort of a hard way to describe it. now we're going to get a lot of extra stickers so those are always nice to have for your spare sparing your store drills yeah no storing your spare drills i have that one on my brain because that's what i'm doing right now so we have we can see we have tons of blues oh my gosh we are in blue heaven if you like blue you're going to love this one. So all the symbols are very, very clear. I do like that consistently for 310, they use the same symbol. Um, for most paintings that I have seen, that has been the consistent symbol. I like that because my brain now automatically knows, okay, that's my 310. Now, obviously, if I encounter one that's going to be different, that may shag me up a little bit, but it should be okay. And everything else, very clear, clear symboling. So nothing that's going to make me panic. If I look at the canvas itself, it is clear as can be. Now, I have light pads. 
I have not used it actually with my current whip because I haven't needed to. It's been so clear that I'm able to see it with just a small overhead light. So I will pull this closer to you so you can see, but I can tell that number two on our um, color code is 125. So that means that's an AB. We're going to show it to you. But just to give you an idea where it's going to be, it's going to be scattered through this water on both sides. So we'll show you that one up close. And number one is going to be, we'll just get a rough idea of where it's going to be. And it's going to also be scattered. So the ABs on this one are scattered in the water. This is going to be very sparkly, but this is where they're, they're adding the attention. So this is a painting that if you wanted, you could bling up. The parts of the umbrella or her dress if you if you have extra ABs that you have sitting around from other paintings or you have ordered some and you have them kicking around in your stash absolutely this is one that you could potentially bling the heck out of wasn't the word I was going for but that's the one I came with and um, yeah but I think I, I tend to look at it this way. When they chart this, they're looking at what the best possible outcome is going to be by what they can do. I mean, look at that face. Isn't that gorgeous? That is stunning. And what I always tell people, when you're going to look at your paintings, take your camera out and look at it through your video settings on your phone because it gives you an idea of what you're finished look will almost look like sometimes when we look at the painting when it's not done it is it's kind of hard to say oh well that face is you know but then if you look through your video it's it comes to life completely so it's a very different image um, than what you you tend to first see come on stay over there now no 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 play nice all right one nice thing with diamond art club that they do is they put the name of our painting and that serial number on the bag of diamonds. So if you store your drills and your canvases separately, you can easily know that this one is letting go. And then I'll show you on the canvas where to look for that. And that is what you're going to want to do. Now, with my big paintings, they all got, they get stored in their boxes. With some of the ones that I have from Amazon that are smaller, um, and the dan and you know, with Amazon stuff comes damaged sometimes, the boxes got kind of crunched up and stuff like that. I will keep my drills and my painting separate. I hang my paintings, or if I've started the painting, it becomes a whip that automatically gets hung up. I just use a trouser hanger, hang my paintings up that way. Um, once in a while though, I do go and cross check to make sure that my drills and my paintings are still lining up because I have misplaced things in this clutter room and in craft room. So just I'm just gonna move you a tad so we can see a bit more. I want to make you sit. There we go. All right. So there's some crinkling that's gonna happen. Plug your ears. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! That is a bag of diamonds. Let's take a peek at those. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Now that is some dark, beautiful colors. Now, I tend to like darker looking art. Um, Anna Morte and Anna Scarrera are my favorites. My dog's going to come for a visit. My husband is allowing the dog to come in. Oh, she had a bath. Great. Just what we want. Her shaking her wet, stinky self all over my craft room. All right. So in Diamond Art Club, we remembered that these are not in order. So this painting has 37 colors. Normally, if you are new to Diamond Art Club, you're used to having your diamonds come from 1 to, say, 37. Your train usually goes in numerical order. With Diamond Art Club, they do theirs by weight. So whatever has the highest weight is at the start of the train and goes down from there. Or there is multiple bags, which we know are here. All right, so we know that's a heavy one there. That's 824. And then we have 
three, two bags of 311. Oh boy, oh boy. Do we want to go through all of these or do we just want to... Then we have one, two, three, four, four bags of 939. 823, 310, 310, 310, 310, 310. How many got? One, two, three, four. We got five bags of 310. But let's look for that AB. Oh, look at that. We have some 550 in there somewhere. A little bit of purple in there. That's going to be pretty. Oh, we have some hitchhikers in this guy. Now, if we look at these drills, we can see how beautiful they are. Can you see that? Maybe not. There we go. See how, oh, do you see the hitchhiker right there? He's like, yeah, my brother came with me. See, he's over there. And uh, you can just see the, the quality of those drills are phenomenal. Now, I attempted to do squares prior to buying on an art club. I will tell you, I threw those ones out very quickly because I got very frustrated. So I only did rounds because, quite frankly, when you're not enjoying putting drills down because they're gapping, they're different sizes, everything else, I'm not wasting my time doing it. So 101 is our first AB. Oh my gosh, look at that blue. See that extra coating on that diamond? Isn't that pretty? Just that extra little bit on there. It's to represent the northern lights. And that actually is very similar to what the northern lights usually looks like. So that is our number one. So that's going to be in our ocean. It's a little bit over here and a little bit over here. So not a ton, but a fair amount. And then 125. That's our number two. And that's a pale, pale blue. And that's also going to be in the water. So that's just going to highlight that water up really pretty. Yeah, so we saw that. Now, as you can see, there is a lot of diamonds in this guy. But I'm going to bring this canvas up to you because I don't think you really want me to show you every single color. But if you do, if you prefer when you're being shown pictures that you see every color and you know what color and DMC number are in it, by all means, just tell me and I will gladly do that. So let's take a tour of our canvas now. We're going to fold her a bit so we can see her all. So at the very top, we have Do What Makes You Sparkle Diamond Art Club. And we have our legend that goes down our left-hand side. See how nice and clear? Like, look at that face of hers. Let's get her face up there. See how beautiful it is? But see, the closer you get, the more pixel it looks. That's why it's always good to look through a camera lens because you'll get to see See that beauty? See how clean those symbols are? It's gorgeous, isn't it? She's stunning. She is utterly stunning. All right, so as we go down our canvas, also our canvas is um, surged and scallops, or scalloped, I think it's called, um, which means it won't fray. So that is very nice because we don't want this to fray once we put all that time and effort into her hair. Look at that dress. Look at the folds in her dress. And that, I love this umbrella for some reason. I don't know why, but I really, really do. All right, let me see how I can get this a little bit better for us. And then we have another legend or schematic on our right-hand lower side. So let's look at the bottom of our canvas for a minute. So we have our pasting area. Our pasting area is where we're going to lay diamonds. So this one is everywhere. All right. And it is pour glue. It comes just a tiny, tiny bit over where the symbols are. Not very far at all, just a, a fraction. Um, this is where we normally place our washi tape is along this line here. So that that little tiny bit of excess doesn't collect all that stuff. And there is our serial number of the painting in case we have any problems, the name of our painting, letting go, the size, and NOLK Diamond Art Club. So what we, this tells us right here is that Diamond Art Club has paid NMRK for this amazing piece of art. So we can do it in good conscience that we know. 
from Diamond Art Club would like us to use the hashtag, hashtag Diamond Art Club, to share either our finished or progress pictures of this. There is also another code to take off money, the Facebook group and their Instagram. I strongly suggest you follow them on Instagram because that's where you can see the Friday sneak peek. And then also the lifetime warranty that our canvas has. That lifetime warranty is for if there's any problems with the glue, if we lose any diamonds, if there's not enough diamonds, anything that happens to this canvas, as long as you are the original owner and you haven't sealed your painting. Okay, so if you seal the painting, then voids the warranty. Or if you happen to give it away, um, that will void your warranty. Sorry, we got some glare there. But as you can see, we got some big blocks of, of colors there. So that is our multi-taser dream. But look at that dress there. The folds in it are so pretty. So I'm just gonna oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna turn her this way. Because it's a little easier to see her like that. But that is Letting Go by Anna Morte. I can't wait to do this one. She's so pretty. She's so beautiful. My husband's like, oh, that's, it's really nice. <laughs> I don't think he totally gets the whole beauty idea of it. But to me, it's gorgeous artwork. And it's going to be fun to do. Being new at Squares, this one will take me a little bit longer. But I do find Diamond Art Club squares are so nice to work with because having OCD like I do, I tend to really want things to go together. And you really do get that satisfying clicking sound of them going together. Um, I was so, I guess, OCD over the first when I did, you know, those these tools that you get that we always wondered what they were for. I would sit there and I would push my diamonds over and over and I push so hard sometimes that I would go off grid and so I had to pull myself back over and try and keep myself going. That was my very first one. I've learned now, as long as you're placing it in the symbol area, you don't have to be perfectly straight because you know what, once you put the ones around it, it's going to straighten itself out and the more you put on, the more it's going to straighten. So enjoy the process of doing the painting team and you're going to hear that a lot just enjoy the process of it because really the end result no matter what is going to look amazing because you're not going to be sitting there looking at it right up close you're going to be standing at least probably six feet away from it so it's going to look perfect no one's going to notice if there's a gap in a spot but make sure you enjoy, enjoy the process of doing the painting that is the whole thing with diamond painting is it's incredible for our mental health because we are able to sit and let go as we are doing it. So guys, that is all for today. Thank you so much for checking out Letting Go with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. And let me know what your plans are for Saturday's drop. What are you getting? What are you buying? What's on your list? Is there any restocks that came in that you want? Have you got them? I see a lot of people are getting paintings randomly off their wish list. Just there's a little fairy out there giving them away, it seems. Maybe a fairy will come visit you. Who knows? But leave a comment below on what you think of letting go. All right, guys, have a wonderful day, and I shall talk to you soon. That's it for me for now. Bye now. Bye bye. Go. Go now. We're done. Bye.